going on everyone rab here with the rab money youtube channel here is my test bench with two a2000 gpus on it yeah that ssd drive is hanging out on the carpet but that's just the way i roll with this test bench ignore that so this morning i did release that video of my a2000 hash rates but i kind of forgot about a coin ergo i don't know how i forgot about it but i did it happens whatever also mini z is a better miner to use on flux allegedly so i forgot to use that as well i totally forgot that miner i always got a lot of things on the go but i am doing a quick update here it's going to be a quick little video i'm going to do a recap of this morning's video go through the hash rates and then we're also going to look at three miners g minor mini z and lol miner compare all three together while mining flux and i also added in ergo and aeon onto this test as well so without further ado let's check out these a2000s <laughs> Okay, so here I am at the good old workstation sitting at rabidmining.com. For those of you that were unaware that I had a website, this is my little blog. It has my merch and crypto tutorials and other things on it. So be sure to check it out if you were unaware. Anyway, scrolling down for the quick recap here of this morning's video, you can see all our quick things here. Now, the biggest thing you want to look for when it comes to crypto mining is obviously that hash to watt ratio. That is what matters. So I'm not going to run through these numbers again. I'm just going to go through the hash to watt right quick. So Ethereum, I was getting 0 0.539 hashes to watt. Flux was 0 0.3. This is where I updated here. I used LOL miner, but Mini Z and G miner seemed to be better, which I was testing out today, and I got some better numbers there. Ravencoin is a 0 0.19 hash to watt ratio. Conflux, 0 0.38. Rio, 0 0.016. CCX, 0 0.02. Ton is 19 and AVN was 21. Now moving forward, I'm now adding in a couple more coins here. I got Aeon coming in as well as, again, I tested out Flux and Ergo. So let's take a look at those numbers. Okay, so here I am starting over with Flux. And using uh, Mini Z, I did get 25.64 souls, 68 watts in the software, 79 watts was at the wall that worked out to a hash to watt ratio of 0 0.324 settings used was 400 on the core and minus 500 which is different due to comments someone said you know maybe try these settings so i did and they did turn out to be better and again that was with mini z uh flux here with g minor seems to be the best miner here for this at least in my testing i was up to 28.10 souls 68 watts 79 watts at the wall 0 0.355 for a hash to watt ratio exact same settings and using uh, g minor i tried these settings again with lol minor and only came out to 24.28 souls which is slightly better than what i did previously but still not as good as the other two miners. moving on to ergo and i don't believe i totally forgot to put ergo into this i, I don't know what i was thinking but anyway uh here i am 105.9 mega hash i surprised me i was like wow this thing's actually doing pretty good i was thinking maybe 94 95 is what i was getting before but i did a little more tweaking and yeah i maxed her out at 105.9 mega hash again running fairly efficient at 70 watts in the software 81 watts was being used at the wall and 1.3 of a hash to watt ratio settings used was t-rex miner 200 on the core and 4,000 in the memory. Remember, I am using Hive OS for these tests. Now, because Aeon runs the same type of algorithm as Flux, I went through all three miners again. So I was getting 185 souls at 68 watts software, 78 watts at the wall, 2.371 hash to watt ratio, 400 on the core, and 300 on the memory using G Miner. Second attempt here using Mini Z, 203 souls, 68 watts, 78 watts at the wall, 2.6 hash to watt ratio, 400 core, 300 on the memory. Again, Mini Z's. Now, LOL Miner was doing some funny, tricky things here. I did only hit 127 souls. It was saying 67 watts in the software, 88 watts in the wall. Now, when I do my hash to watt ratio, it is based on the wall power never go by software power i just put those there just to show you the difference kind of between them software power is usually always wrong about 99.9% .9 of the time actually 100% because i have never seen it accurately anyway you know that's just me moving forward again 88 watts at the wall 
1.44 hash to watt ratio. Now I could only get 300 core out of this and I was using 300 memory in LOL miner. The GPU was getting really, really hot. 400 core would just crash. And then, you know, I couldn't get back on. I had to reset my rig. Just LOL miner was causing me quite a bit of issues when it did come to mining Aeon. Okay guys, so that is it. That is my numbers on my A2000s. Now I think I am finally done testing these GPUs so I can put them in their proper home. Their permanent home will be inside of this Octominer server case because A2000s, because they're a workstation blower style GPU, they do perform better and stay cooler inside of server cases over like your open air mining frames that you do have over there. I got two four gigabyte cards that I'm gonna be pulling out of here. I'm gonna be pulling the one off that CPU mining rig. And I'm gonna be slowly putting together maybe, you know, like a four gigabyte LHR type of rig inside of there. So we'll see what happens in the future. I'm still deciding what to really do with them. But for now, this is gonna be a 100% full Ethereum mining Octo Miner case. And those A2000s have two spots that are looking for them. Thanks for watching everyone. Rig5 says, please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up and bell notification to be notified for future videos. And we will both see you on the next one. Rabid out. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe and like this video as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday. So stay tuned for more future content.